Welcome. As we take you along, learning more about what MCED multi-cancer early detection tests are. Enjoy. First, we are going to be talking about what exactly multi-cancer early detection, also known as MCED tests are. These are unique type of tests that are used to screen early stage cancer cells before any symptoms begin to appear. MCED tests are liquid biopsy tests, which means that they use a sample of blood to detect cancer cells. For example, when cancer cells undergo death, they are broken down and released from the tumor and into the bloodstream. So a blood test is then able to detect these pieces of DNA from the cancer cells. Since these tests are relatively new, only about 20 tests are in development. However, these tests are quite promising as they are able to detect cancers in the pancreas, prostate, breast, kidneys, liver, and lungs. So how do these MCED tests work? In general, the mechanism for each MCDE test differs. However, in general, these tests are designed to screen for a basket of cancers using a single blood draw, interrogating features of biomarkers such as circulating cells or DNA. Circulating tumor cells are cells that have shed from tumors into the bloodstream and are responsible for the spread of cancer to other places within the body. There are three main types of MCED tests, including mutation-based, circulating tumor cell-based, and fragmentation-based. Using these biomarkers, these tests can identify the type of tumor and their potential origin in the body using various machine learning algorithms. First, let's start off by looking at circulating tumor cell-based MCED tests. Tumor cells are released into blood circulation from the primary tumor. Although they are relatively scarce, they are some of the first indicators of cancer metastasis and higher levels of circulating tumor cells are linked with poor patient prognosis. They have also been found in patients' blood circulation for localized tumors or even before a tumor has been detected from imaging. So it's clear that this method offers a distinct value for early detection. Next, we'll look at mutation-based MCED tests, which uses the detection of the mutations in circulating tumor DNA. These mutation-based tests are able to detect cancer quite effectively, even those in early stages. However, using these alone may not be ideal, as detecting where the tumor originated from is difficult, as there are very few tissue-specific gene mutations. Next, we'll look into fragmentation-based MCED tests. A tumor tissue may release large amounts of DNA into the circulation. There are many different reasons and mechanisms which lead to this DNA shedding, which can cause different fragmentation patterns. This fragmentation is also a tissue-dependent mechanism. Features that allow for the detection of the cancer and its origin. It's important to remember that the MCED test and technologies surrounding it is a relatively new technique. Even if it has the potential to revolutionize cancer diagnosis, there are still questions surrounding its risks and reliability. These may include how frequently it will be used, how often the test will be conducted, how effective it is at finding different types of cancer, and who should be tested. Hence, it's no surprise that the MCED tests are currently not FDA approved. Also, as with any test, there are always problems related to false results. This could either be false positives or false negatives. In the context of the MCED test, this could mean falsely telling a healthy patient that they have cancer for the former, or declaring someone cancer-free when they in fact do have cancer for the latter. While early trials revealed that both false positives and negatives are low, it is still important to understand their frequency in order to properly use the test clinically. All this will hopefully be answered once the clinical trials of the MCED test are conducted around the world, which will help answer all these questions. Research is headed in the right direction. A new world to cancer detection and screening methods has just been discovered in a simplified study done by the University of Oxford. 
This study looked into the multi-cancer early detection test, also known as MCED, and this test is able to detect over 50 types of cancers through the use of a single blood test. The Simplify study is one of the United Kingdom-based clinical trials that has recruited over 13 sites to conduct the research and with over 19 hospitals, including the Hull University Teaching Hospitals NHS Trust, the University College London Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust, and many more. In another study done by Jamshidi and colleagues, it was found that DNA methylation was the best predictor of cancer signal origin. DNA methylation is a chemical modification of the DNA that can alter the way the gene is expressed in a cell. Current research in the field suggests that multi-cancer early detection tests increase the number of cancers detected and can be used as population screening to help clinical outcomes as a promising diagnostic tool as stated by Klein and colleagues. In this paper, the research team discusses the CCGA study, which stands for the Circulating Cell-Free Genome Atlas Study, that looked into the blood-based MCED tests and used circulating DNA fragments released into the bloodstream. They were able to detect multi multiple cancer types and their origins with high accuracy. This shows MCED tests to be a promising tool. We hope you enjoyed learning about MCED tests and how they can help millions of people to detect cancer at an early stage. Thank you and until next time.